Welcome back, Georgia Sports Hall of Fame, previewing Georgia and Alabama. The Georgia defense has been stout all season long, allowing less than 10 points a game. I'm joined now by the marvelous one, Marvin James. And Marv, all week you've been traveling around spotlighting a lot of Central Georgia student athletes who will play a role in this game, including one big fella who is a big part of the Georgia defense. That's right. Coach Kirby Smart coined the phrase earlier this season, whether you're elite or you're not, right? And the defense for the Georgia Bulldogs definitely fits that billing. And one of those big dogs hunkering down in the trenches hails from right here in Central Georgia. One of Georgia's top gridiron dogs almost wound up on the college basketball court. In high school, defensive lineman Trayvon Walker was a part of an Upson Lee hoop squad that won back-to-back -back state championships with a career average of 12 points and 11 rebounds. He was also a part of a 75-game winning streak with the program. But in the end, Trayvon's father says being an all-around athlete is what made Trayvon shine the brightest, whatever sport he competed in. Yeah, I think it helps uh, mentally, physically, just, just all around. Uh, I think it really helped. And if it was not for basketball, he would not be the football player he is. And if it was not for football, he wouldn't have been the basketball player he was. And then with, also with track, it also helped him. Helped him out indeed. Trayvon has blossomed into a six foot five, 275 pound machine, wrecking defenses across the country as a member of Georgia's elite defense that is preparing for the national championship in a rematch with old rival Alabama. But his parents won't nearly take all the credit for his success. And we didn't do it by ourselves, you know, as the old saying is, it takes a community. So, you know, with, with the prayers and, and words of wisdom from people like yourself, even, you know, to him, it means a lot to us. Walker has managed to start all 14 contests this year for Georgia. He's collected five sacks, six and a half tackles for loss, along with a team-high 29 quarterback hurries, something that makes mom and dad cheer as fans, but of course, also as proud parents. It's a blessing. It's a blessing. I mean, you, That's surreal. Yeah, it, it puts a lot of things in perspective of your, your prayers, your wishes, your dreams, and, and listening to him grow up and the things that he would say, uh, it kind of puts a, it does put a smile on your face. But one thing about number 44, when he's out there on the field, he's not just playing for the dogs and his family, but he carries his hometown in his heart every time his number is called. He's going to say 706, he's going to represent. If somebody says he's from Atlanta or Macon, he's going to be quick to say, no, I'm from Thomaston. Uh, he, he really enjoys to be where he's from here in Thomaston. And, uh, he shows a lot of now that's a lot of groceries coming out of that Walker household whenever Trayvon is back home. But Trayvon will be the only name that you hear or the only player from Central Georgia that will be playing on the big stage Cup Monday night. We also have five others from right here in the Central Georgia area. Let's talk about one of them, former West Side two-way player Jalen Hollywood Kennedy. He's in his redshirt freshman season. He's listed on the Dogs roster as a reserve defensive back. A three-star football standout, Javon Bullard, also a reserve defensive back for the Georgia Bulldogs. Former five-star offensive tackle, Amaris Mims, the big ugly from Blakely County. He lines up as a reserve lineman for the Red and Black. And from Peach County, current freshman Terrence Ferguson is an offensive lineman with Alabama, while his older former teammate, Kiaris Jackson, is a recent Georgia grad. A lot of talent, as you well know, Marv, right here in Central Georgia, and they'll be displaying it on Monday night. Yeah, it's going to be exciting mm -hmm. times. All right, now Marv's been traveling around doing stories with these folks, parents, coaches, and all throughout the week. You'll be able to watch those stories on 13WMAZ.com.